वेरी गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू आई एस वेथ हरिहंत स्टूडेंट एज यू नो कि एवरी डे एट नाइन पी एम वी आर डिस्किसिंग अबाउट द इंडियन पॉलिटी एंड बेसिकली दिस सीरीज इज कॉल्ड एज प्रॉब्लम पॉसिबल एज दिस सेशन इज बेस्ड ऑन अ बुक दैट इज स्पेशली पब्लिश्ड एंड रिलीज बाई अरिहंत ओके सो दिस बुक इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी वेरी बेनिफिशियल फॉर योर एनी स्टेट पी एस सी एग्जामिनेशन एज वेल एज फॉर द यू पी एस सी एग्जामिनेशन स्टूडेंट सो यू मस्ट गो विद द सेम एंड इट इज गोइंग टू हेल्प यू अलॉट एंड सी दिस information and there are some uniqueness from the other book that is present in the market so it is going to help you in your building uh, concept for the prelims as well as uh, the explanation portion is going to help you for the mains examination also students okay so we are going to start the session but before that i'd like to mention about the uniqueness and basically specificness of this book students as this book is a very Uh, means arranged in a chapter wise format as well as this chapters are divided into topic and that topic each and every topic contain mind map okay so we already discussed lots of chapter and i hope you watched that videos and students in the today's session we are going to start with the president uh, vice president so you will see ki how the previously the different state examination as well as the upsc examination they uh, uh, formatted the question okay and uh, it is basically there is a type wise division okay in the chapters and that is especially arranged with a very great explanation okay and that explanation will build your concept also along with that students it is going to give you data for your mains examination and this is a knowledge plus for the typical question and 3500 pyq bullets in the last of this book that is going to help you in your easy and quick revision students so as i told you in the today's topic we are going to discuss about the vice president but as we already discussed students there is a union and basically the, there is a union that is mentioned under part 5 of indian constitution and the article is from basically ranging from 52 to 151 okay so students basically this union contain a portion that is called as union executive what is union executive students basically these are the body they are more powerful and they are implementing the rules and regulation and laws students okay this is a body that is called as legislature legislature is a body that create law that makes law like parliament state legislature but those law is going to be implemented by these executive and basically students union executive is consist of very important because uh, in your uh, previous examination this question was asked multiple time so that's why i'm telling you this is important for your examination so what you see students previously if you see the data in the union executive basically president is the part of the union executive as well as vice president council of minister plus prime minister and then students attorney general of india is the part of the union executive and basically they contain article from 52 to 78 and we already discuss about the president in very depth we discuss about the president what is the function of president what is the power of president as well as other provision other power related to the president along with that students we already discuss how a president is going to be elected and who can be a president means we already discuss qualification election manner okay but in india in our indian constitution students is another post that is called as vice president now if you see students the vice president post there is no specific function for the vice president as we already seen the president has lots of function he has executive power he has legislative power all the function inside the country outside the country uh is always done on the name of president but what you see students there is no specific work for the vice president but there are two important tasks given to vice president basically there is a condition when president is not there means let's suppose any vacancy arises it may be a casual vacancy or it may be by resignation by death or by impeachment if this post became vacant student uh, uh, basically country cannot function because if king or the head of the state is not there then how other authority can 
work so for that purpose let's suppose president is not there then vice president will function as acting president but i told you already there is a condition he can be president means he can work as a president for maximum 6 six, 6 month so there is a condition within 6 month election must be conducted student to this condition is already uh, uh, means happened two times 1969 and 1977 when zakir hussain sir was died as well as fakhruddin ali, uh, ali ahmed sir was died at that time this post became vacant means post, president post became vacant so for that purpose students vice president is here along with that if he don't have any work then he will not get salary also so there is a provision basically this provision and this post is derived from usa it says that in usa there is a vice president and he is the head of the senate in india also vice president don't have any work but he get an attached work whenever any person is going to be uh, uh, means uh, uh, chosen as or elected as vice president he will get an additional charge that's why he is called as ex officio this post means this uh, basically there's a ex officio chairman of rajya sabha basically chairman of rajya sabha post is attached with the vice president office so let's suppose someone going to be vice president automatically he will be the ex officio chairman of rajya sabha student there is a condition vice president not getting any salary because there is no provision for salary because no work but he functioning as the chairman of rajya sabha so he will get the salary of chairman of rajya sabha i hope you all getting this concept this is very simple okay everyone as we already discussed this concept is derived from usa and students vice president will be the chairman of rajya sabha and let's suppose there is a casual vacancy or maybe any type of vacancy arises in the uh, uh, means if president is not available at that time vice president will function as president vice president will function as president but maximum for 6 month so within 6 month election must be conducted and then he will went back to the uh, their own seat getting it now so i am going to start this chapter this was the outline he is an executive part so now i am going to give the mind map that is mentioned under the same book students as i already told you this book contain lots of information it is going to help you a lot so you must go with the book and uh, you must read it carefully and then come to the class so we can discuss in more depth student so now we are going to start with the same student uh, see introduction if we talk about so he is the second highest of constitutional office in india now students in india there is a order of precedence so basically in the today's topic i, I just added a order of precedence okay so uh, 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 basically this is also very important it is rank okay so as you know ki why president of india is the head of the nation so his rank in india is one after that second position is for the vice president third position is for the prime minister fourth position is for the governor of state within the respective state then on fifth position the former vice president a former presidents and then deputy prime minister and then chief justice of india and speaker of lok sabha then cabinet minister of union then chief minister of state with their respective state deputy chairman and of planning commission is not there but but this data was released on 26th of july 1979 but it is now changed because planning commission is not there so niti ayog okay former prime ministers and leader of opposition in rajya sabha why i am sharing this uh, data with you because previously in the different psc examination order of precedence asked by examiner so be ready for the same so holder of bharat ratna is also there but they are after the uh, uh, this uh, uh, cabinet ministers chief minister of state as well as leader of opposition in rajya sabha this is important okay so whenever you see like on 26th of january or on 15th of august sometimes seats are arranged okay so this is arranged according to the order of precedence or rank okay getting it so just try to note down the data and this is available on internet so you can download it also 
okay are you so this is one thing then uh, as i already told you students he is the ex officio chairman of rajya sabha and there is a constitutional provision as i told you he is the part of union executive so union executive will i mean this post will start from 52 to 78 and basically the uh, the uh, the constitutional provision for the vice president of india is range between 63 to 71 you need to remember this this post we derive from the usa means we are motivated we all means our constituent assembly was motivated from usa to accept this type of method means to accept the vice president post so article Article sixty three of Indian Constitution is mentioning about there shall be a vice president of India. Okay, Article sixty four is very important. In Article sixty four, it is mentioning that there shall be a vice president of India, and he will function as ex officio chairman of Rajya Sabha. So ex officio means extra office. Okay, so whenever a person chosen or elected as president, vice president of India. he will get an extra office that is vice uh, chairman of rajya sabha okay article 65 mentioning as let's suppose president is a uh, absent so in that case let's suppose casual vacancy is there in that case vice president will function as the president of india article 66 is mentioning about the election of vice president so student if you see the election of vice president is a uh, means i'm going to discuss about the electoral college also but it is also a indirect election okay indirect election means basically the common people is not going to participate directly the representative chosen by uh, common people like member of parliament they are going to vote in the president a uh, vice president election so that's why there will be a electoral college so a specific group people they are going to vote in the president election a uh, vice president election as well as president election also but here only the member of parliament will vote member of legislative assembly will not vote then there is a term under article 67 term of office and as you know students tenure is for 5 year and students let suppose he want to give resignation so he will give res resignation to president of india and we already discuss when president want to give resignation so he will give resignation to vice president of india student article 68 is about the vacancy of office so in that case also it is also means it uh, this post must be filled within 6 month and uh, article 69 is there oath or affirmation by vice president okay so oath or affirmation of vice president by president okay so this is also important and then article 70 is mentioning about let's suppose president is not there okay maybe vacancy arises by any how okay uh shri krishna we have no 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 it is 5 year only the member of rajya sabha member of rajya sabha they are elected for 6 year basically vice president is the chairman of rajya sabha so he chosen for 5 year only i ho i hope shri krishna okay okay so what you find under article 70 discharge of president's function in oath contingency so let's suppose president is not there in that case he is going to work as vice pre I means president for maximum 6 month and then there will be oath ceremony also and what uh, means all allowance and all type of facility what president getting vice president till the time he will function as president he also get salary allowance and all okay aryan article 71 is for the president as well as vice president both okay so president and vice president let's suppose there is any election dispute arises in their election in that case this matter will went to supreme court and the judgment of supreme court is going to be the superior i hope you all getting it data is okay any doubt okay so if you feel doubt just tell me otherwise we are moving towards the another data so here election of vice president as, as i told you there will be a indirect election means the common people is not going to vote directly so there will be electoral college means there are few people 
who is going to vote in the vice president election and students there is a difference i'm just creating it here uh, if we talk about students vice president and president so there is a difference in the electoral college okay i'm just writing here ec means electoral college not election commission so here i'm writing who will vote so in vice president election only member of parliament will vote both elected plus nominated so both member of parliament will vote in the vice president election in president election only elected member of parliament will vote elected member of legislative assembly will vote along with that students there are delhi and pondicherry is also going to participate in the president election but in vice president election only member of parliament house of parliament is going to vote so this data is also going to be important so just try to remember okay now what is the election method students so same as president proportional representation by single transferable voting system so basically this uh, election is conducted on paper ballot okay now what is the qualification to be the vice president of india anyone who want to be the vice president of india so there is a also a lots of benefit attached to the vice president office okay a free a means a house a very great salary huh? so for that purpose you can plan but you must know what qualification required so uh, if someone want to be the a uh, c uh, non elected member see student there is a nominated member in rajya sabha how many Few, uh, basically 12 member is nominated under the rajya sabha and this is done by president of india okay so they are not going to participate in president election why let's suppose i am president i am sitting president and appointed appointed someone so whenever i am going to participate in the election they are going to favor me so that's why it says that nominated member will not vote but in the case of vice president this nominated member is also going to vote initially lok sabha also contained two member uh, uh, means uh, from the anglo indian community but now uh, this provision is removed from the constitution okay sri krishna okay great okay everyone so if someone want to the pres vice president of india he must be the citizen of india at least completed the 35 year of age qualified for election as a member of rajya sabha means qualified means it it doesn't means he is the part of the rajya sabha he must be qualified to be the member of rajya sabha then not holding any office of profit under the government of india or the state students okay now office term for 5 year we already discuss okay but let's suppose he want to resignation resign so he can give resignation to president of india students and president of india also giving resignation to the vice president now what are the power so ex officio chairman of rajya sabha only one power but let's suppose president is not there then all function what president performing he can perform removal as in president election there is a impeachment procedure impeachment procedure under article 61 but for the president uh, vice president there is a removal but he can remove from the office only in case if this bill is start from rajya sabha means there will be a bill that start from the rajya sabha ki we want to remove vice president but there is a 14 days notice required in the case of president it can start from rajya sabha or lok sabha from anywhere okay everyone so no ground has been mentioned in the constitution for the removal it can be any and resolution only passed in rajya sabha this is also a power of special power of rajya sabha students okay getting it now see this chapter is a very uh, means uh, small so there are some specific data that we included in the single topic so there are uh, till the time students how many vice president we have this is also a question how many why means 
presently who is the vice president of india what is the uh, number of uh, uh, means uh, president uh, vice president till the time so these type of question you also see in your examination and i'm also going to share some important factual data for examination purpose students so as you know who was the first vice president of india another very important thing students as we already discuss about the president okay today we are discussing about the vice president there are some vice president who chosen as president also so this name is also important uh, and this question we uh, uh, are seen in multiple examination okay okay yes very good shri, shri krishna okay so who was the first vice president of india so dr sarvapalli radhakrishnan sir was the first vice president and you see students he president for two term okay and uh, he assumed office on 13th of may 1952 and he was in office till 12th of may 1962 and students later he became president of india okay so i'm just writing here president second president and students 1962 to 1967 and there is a condition also there as a provision there is a fact also he is the only president one time he not participated in the republic day parade okay then zakir hussain is here and zakir hussain is a person he also chosen as president but he died in the office okay so he worked from 1962 to 1967 but he died uh, 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 means uh, before completion of term so this is also important then varaha giri venkat giri so he chosen on th 13th of may 1967 but he uh, he uh, went to the vice president post for what as a acting president so sometime let's suppose they are going to create a question first acting vice president of india so he was vivi giri and later he chosen as president of india students so his tenure is the shortest one okay so as you, you can see it is two year uh, means approximately two year before ten days this uh, uh, means uh, his tenure is means he resigned okay aryan so first vice president also who resigned from this post okay then gopal swarup pathak as we know he never be the president then bd jatti he also worked as acting president we already discuss about this data acting president bd jatti okay basappa danappa jatti okay everyone after that am hidayatullah he also worked as acting vice uh, acting president one data important and students this year was 1969 when vivi giri was resigned at that time he became he assumed the charges as president and uh, students he was the cji who function as uh, acting uh, uh, president along with that students later he became the vice president of india so this is also a important data in fact that is important for the examination then r venkat raman okay so okay okay uh, 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 ashila we will discuss the data in the last okay no issue okay rama swami venkat raman so on 31st of august 1984 he was chosen until 1987 he will be there student he resigned because he want to be the president of india so he chosen as president also r venkat raman he will function till 1992 after that shankar dayal sharma will be chosen so when he was president at that time shankar dayal sharma was the vice president so he was the president also so is the only vice president who has been the chief minister cabinet minister and congress president okay then k r narayanan kochiril raman narayanan and uh, he also chosen as president from 1997 to 2002 and then krishna kant he also died in office tenure bhairav singh sekhawat okay and then mohammad hamid ansari for two term and the student this data is also very important longest serving vice president 
longest serving vice president as you can see he is for two term as well as dr sarvapalli radhakrishnan sir was for two term but his tenure will start from 11th of august 2007 and he will be till 2017 means 10 year but it is more than 8 means it is more, more than uh, 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 means more 8 days okay so 10 year 8 days but if you see uh, dr sarvapalli radhakrishnan 13th of may to 12th of may so his tenure is less than the hamid ansari so he is the longest serving vice president of india okay everyone and after that m venkaiah naidu ji and Jag jagdeep dhankar ji he is the president uh, sorry he is the present vice president and basically uh, recently election is conducted out of 788 vote means there is a total 788 88 vote and he defeated a candidate margaret alva that she was a congress candidate so this is also very important now students this about this data is about some important uh vice president now uh, already we discuss about this uh, order of precedence now we are going to discuss mcqs that was previously asked in the different examination so first question on our screen the vice president of india is okay so let me uh, move my position so you guys can uh, take the data easily okay so just up the right answer the vice president of india is he is directly elected by the people nominated by the president elected by member of state legislature or elected by an electoral college consist of member of the two house of parliament students so as we already discussed students the president position as well as vice position is filled by indirect election what is direct election so where the people of india is going to participate directly that is called as direct election like member of legislative assembly state elected directly member of parliament elected directly as well as local authority means panchayat municipalities these leaders are directly directed elected now in the member of parliament only the lok sabha members are directly elected okay member of parliament rajya sabha they are indirectly elected okay so this is also important to categorize this data after that students nominated by president so president nominate whom basically uh, means nominated or you can say uh, uh, appointed by president is rajya sabha members as well as governors of state also nominated or appointed by president of india now students elected member of state legislature they are not going to vote in the vice president election vice president elected indirectly and there is an electoral college and that consists of member of parliament both lok sabha and rajya sabha students as well as elected plus nominated both means both house of parliament will vote without any uh, means uh, uh, substitution okay as we are doing in uh, president election only elected will vote but in vice president election elected as well as nominated both will vote so this is about this question so automatically we'll get ki this option d is correct for the same and what you find students here answer d the vice president of india is elected by electoral college consisting of member house of parliament both member house of parliament in accordance with the system of proportional representation by means of single transferable vote okay so by single transferable voting system and the voting in such election is done on a secret ballot so this is on the ballot paper and basically students electoral college elect a person of office of the vice president consist of all member of both house of parliament and article 66 of indian constitution mentioning about the election manner of vice president so we already discussed about these data in the mind map okay that's why mind maps are important for your revision purpose now this question was in uppcs 2013 okay and uh, vice president of india is okay is the second highest 
dignitary of India, has no formal function attached to his office, discharge the function of president during his absence, and act as a president if president resign or removed or dies stolen. So we already discussed under the order of precedence or rank. Basically, the president or means vice president of India at the second position. So this is statement one is correct. There is a no formal function, but as I told you, is the ex officio chairman of Rajya Sabha. Okay, under Article sixty four of Indian Constitution. So as we already know, there is a no special function for the vice president, but yes. there is a ex officio work and then discharge the function of president during his absence so basically when president is not there he will function as president okay so he will discharge all function as president okay so option means statement 3 and 4 both are correct so what you find students what this question demand select the correct answer from the given code below so codes are 1 and 2 1 2 3 1 3 4 and d says that all the above so what you find students all the above are correct answer for the same i hope you all getting it so this data is important just try to remember for the examination now all the statements are correct vice president of india is the second highest dignitary after president president at the first position and uh, article 65 mentioning about if vice pres president position is vacated at that time vice president will function as president of india okay everyone so this is important and we already discussed now who is the chairman of rajya sabha so student who is the chairman of rajya sabha see we have two houses in parliament there is a three thing one is president then lok sabha and then rajya sabha these all three is called as parliament student in lok sabha there is a speaker okay and this speaker is basically the member of parliament lok sabha okay as we see om birla is the present speaker and students he is a member of parliament and he chosen as a speaker but in rajya sabha there is a chairman so he is not member of rajya sabha so there is a deputy chairman who will be the member of who is the member of the rajya sabha but the chairman is who he is the vice president so whenever a person chosen as president a vice president he will function as chairman of rajya sabha as he is the ex officio chairman of rajya sabha and who is the vice president of india students under article 64 of indian constitution getting it so this is important i hope it is okay now so we already added here the vice president of india is the ex officio chairman of the rajya sabha or council of state article 64 of indian constitution mention that if president is means uh, if someone chosen as uh, a vice president he also get the charge as chairman of rajya sabha or council of state he shall not hold office of profit during uh, any period when vice president acts as act as a president or discharge the function as president he shall not perform the duty as the chairman of rajya sabha and at that time he will get the emoluments salaries and whatever uh, same as president of india students okay everyone now this question was in nagaland psc in year 2010 who among the following act as presiding officer of house without being a member presiding officer basically it is means head or you can say the conducting person okay so basically speaker is in lok sabha okay so speaker in lok sabha i already discussed he is a member of parliament lok sabha then he can only choose in as a uh, uh, this is speaker but what you find students vice president is the chairman of rajya sabha and he is not the member of rajya sabha students i hope you all getting it so option a is going to be right for the same students see the chairman of legislative council as in states there are some states where legislative council exist like 
उत्तर प्रदेश बिहार महाराष्ट्र कर्नाटका आंध्र प्रदेश एंड तेलंगाना सो दीज आर द स्टेट वेयर काउंसिल लेजिस्लेटिव काउंसिल इज अवेलेबल बट स्टूडेंट्स हेयर द चेयरमैन ऑफ लेजिस्लेटिव काउंसिल इज द मेंबर ऑफ लेजिस्लेटिव काउंसिल बिकॉज देर इज अ नो प्रोविजन फॉर द वाइस गवर्नर इन द स्टेट ओके सो ऑप्शन ए इज करेक्ट फॉर द सेम नाउ जस्ट सी द एक्सप्लेनेशन पार्ट वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस वाइस प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया एक्ट एज अ प्रिसाइडिंग ऑफिसर ऑफ राज्यसभा विदाउट बींग मेंबर ऑफ इट so article 64 it is mentioning that vice president shall be ex officio chairman of rajya sabha okay and he shall not post uh, means hold any office of profit okay everyone now see the next question that was in up pcs multiple time assam psc so the fifth says that vice president of india is elected by electoral college consist of vice president electoral college consist of what student i told you already is a president also so president electoral college okay so president electoral college member of parliament okay only who elected lok sabha and rajya sabha both elected member of parliament will vote as well as member of legislative assembly of state but they must also elected and students it is for all state and delhi pondicherry and jammu and kashmir okay but in the vice president election there is a electoral college that will consist of both member of parliament from rajya sabha and plus lok sabha and here both elected plus nominated both will vote getting it so member of both house of parliament is going to vote student just see statement member of both house of parliament member of rajya sabha only elected member of both house of parliament elected member of lok sabha only read sentences carefully In, uh, vishnu just take it carefully okay and i want correct answer from you guys because i already told you i explained you each and everything here let's give the right answers okay what you find students i told you basically both member of parliament lok sabha and rajya sabha going to participate and all member will participate elected nominated all so elected is going to be incorrect member of rajya sabha so option a is correct for this same getting it so article 66 is mentioning about the electoral college and it will consist of both member of parliament and both elected and nominated all will participate in simple word shri krishna i hope now you understand okay now see the next question it was in uttarakhand psc Punjab PSC 2012 and 14. So, which of the following comprises the electoral college of the Vice President of India? See, this question is multiple time, multiple time explanation is there. So, this will help you. So, member of Lok Sabha, member of Rajya Sabha, member of State Legislation Assembly, and member of State Legislative Council. So. basically electoral college of vice president of india is consist of so member of lok sabha member of rajya sabha so they will vote who will not vote state will not going to participate in vice president election so both statement 1 and 2 is correct so a option is going to be right because it is mentioning about 1 and 2 only getting it so see we Uh, means get this explanation multiple time okay article 66 of indian constitution mentioning about basically vice president is elected by indirectly there will be an electoral college that will consist of member of parliament both lok sabha and rajya sabha and all member of parliament will participate getting it state legislative assembly will not participate in the vice president election getting it now This question was in Maharashtra PSC pre two thousand eighteen. 
सो वी हैव सेवेंथ क्वेश्चन विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट अबाउट द वाइस प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया इज इन करेक्ट विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट अबाउट द वाइस प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया इज इन करेक्ट ओके सो द इलेक्टोरल कॉलेज फॉर इलेक्शन टू दिस ऑफिस कंसिस्ट ऑफ इलेक्टेड मेंबर ऑफ बोथ हाउस ऑफ पार्लियामेंट इलेक्टोरल कॉलेज फॉर इलेक्शन विल कंसिस्ट ऑफ इलेक्टेड मेंबर ऑफ पार्लियामेंट ओके नाउ सी द सेकेंड स्टेटमेंट सो दे आर आस्किंग अबाउट इन करेक्ट ही कैन होल्ड ऑफिस ऑफ प्रेसिडेंट फॉर पीरियड नॉट एक्सीडिंग सिक्स मंथ इन एबसेंस ऑफ प्रेसिडेंट ओके सो देर इज अ कंडीशन प्रेसिडेंट इलेक्शन मस्ट बी कंडक्ट विद इन सिक्स मंथ नाउ फॉर इलेक्शन टू दिस ऑफिस अ कैंडिडेट नॉमिनेशन पेपर मस्ट बी सब्सक्राइब बाई एट लीस्ट एस बाई ट्वेंटी इलेक्टर एंड प्रपोजर इज ट्वेंटी सो नाउ वॉट इज गोइंग टू राइट एंसर फॉर द सेम स्टूडेंट सो विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज इन करेक्ट सो स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू सी हियर इलेक्टेड मेंबर ऑफ पार्लियामेंट सो स्टूडेंट्स इलेक्टेड एज वेल एज नॉमिनेटेड बोथ विल वोट इट मीन्स दैट स्टेटमेंट वन इज गोइंग टू बी इन करेक्ट सो अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस क्वेश्चन इट इज गोइंग टू बी ऑप्शन नंबर ए ओके इलेक्टोरल कॉलेज विल कंसिस्ट ऑफ ऑल मेंबर ऑफ पार्लियामेंट नॉट ऑनली इलेक्टेड सी हाउ दिस a polity is dynamic a single word modified the complete answer so that's why i'm telling you whenever you read question read it carefully because in hindi there is a line sawal jiska tha mujhe sawal mein mila mujhe sawal ka jawab bhi sawal mein mila mujhe okay to ye data aap yaad rakhenge okay aap so option a is incorrect statement 1 is incorrect because elect, uh, electoral college of vice president is con uh, consist of all elected member of parliament uh, sorry all member of parliament okay easy now maharashtra psc year 2013 which of the following statement is incorrect the supreme court inquires into the matter arising out of election of vice president so supreme court will check care for the if any dispute arises in the vice president or president election the decision of the president in matter arising out of election uh of a vice president is final okay what is statement incorrect if election of vice president is declared void all act done by incumbent until such declaration got do not get invalidated okay parliament can regulate any matter connected with the election of a vice president subject to provision uh, of in the of the constitution now parliament can regulate it okay in the matter of election of vice president initially it was different but later it was modified what do you find students if if i go once again with the statement supreme court inquires into the matter arising arising in the dispute of president and vice president election under article 71 so this statement is correct so the decision of president in matter arising out of election of a pres uh, means uh, of a vice president is final so if you see the president decision is not required here only supreme court can give judgment okay so we are getting answer b is here that is incorrect okay so incorrect because article 71 of indian constitution supreme court has right he can give judgment if any dispute arises in the president and vice president election students now see the next question which one of the following statement is incorrect so far six vice president have gone to became the president of india okay incorrect only one vice president has an additional charge of post of president in addition to one above only one mr vv giri has additional charges and also to regulate charges of the president okay uh 
now there's a there's a statement you have to read in addition to one above only one mr vivigiri has additional charges three vice president have retired as such without becoming president now which of the following statement is incorrect okay now for that purpose students you need to see uh, how the concepts are arranged here now if you know the name of president and vice president then you can find till the time six presidents are there who chosen as sorry who was initially vice president so this statement one is incorrect only one president sorry one vice president has additional charge of the post of president so student if you go through it okay so it was a uh, bd jatti sir okay because divigiri sir was resigned okay and uh, basically this statement says that ki one of the above only one so it is addition to this okay so vivigiri also function as president okay and he later became the president of india so these three statements are correct and student there are multiple number of uh, 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 vice president who never became the president of india okay so i'm going to share this data with you basically govin uh, gopal swarup pathak g uh, g s pathak krishna kan bhairav singh sekhawat hamid ansari they are the vice president of india they never get the chance to be the president but uh, there are some important data hamid ansari became president of uh, sorry vice president of india uh, for two term and he is the longest serving the president of india uh, vice president of india and students gopal swarup pathak also worked as judge of allahabad high court he uh, he did not belong to any political party krishna kant belonging to the congress bhairav singh sekhawat fought for the president election but he lost now uppcs 2005 which of the following statement about vice president of india is not correct okay so in order to the vice president a person must be qualified for election as a member of house of people house of people means lok sabha so which of the following is not correct okay a member of state legislature can be candidate for this house a term of office of vice president is same as the president and he can be removed through the formal impeachment now student which of the following is not correct okay which of the following is not correct okay so just opt the right answer so student as i already discussed as well as in the mind map as well as in the same book students mentioned that if someone want to be the vice president of india he must qual be qualified to be the part of rajya sabha but here what they are giving lok sabha so it means that it is incorrect okay a member of state legislature can be candidate of the uh, vice president term of vice president is same as president five year so these two statement are correct but fourth statement is also uh incorrect because there is a removal process for the vice president okay so option c is going to be right for the same and this bill must be start from the rajya sabha okay so we already discuss about the same articles 66 of indian constitution is it is mentioning about the electoral college okay and uh, he must be qualified uh, uh, for uh, means if someone want to participate as a vice president member of uh, vice president election he must be qualified to be the part of rajya sabha not lok sabha okay everyone his term for 5 year and is electoral college that is consist of all member of parliament okay now it was in chatisgarh psc 2012 now who decide the dispute regarding election of vice president of india so if let's suppose dispute arises under article 71 it is mentioned that who is going to the supreme authority to take care for the same data students so what you find basically the supreme court of india uh, is going to participate means it be they are the supreme authority and what the judgment they are going means given by supreme court that will be supreme 
ओके आर्गन सो द जजमेंट ऑफ सुप्रीम कोर्ट इज फाइनल ओके नाउ द ट्वेल्थ क्वेश्चन वी हैव इट वॉज इन महाराष्ट्र पी एस सी ओरिजिनल कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन प्रोवाइड दैट द वाइस प्रेसिडेंट वुड बी इलेक्टेड बाई टू हाउस ऑफ पार्लियामेंट असेंबल्ड एट अ ज्वाइंट मीटिंग ओरिजिनल कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ओके इट मीन्स दैट ऑन ट्वेंटी सिक्स ऑफ जनवरी नाइनटीन फिफ्टी नॉट इन द टू डेज टर्म इनिशियली इट वॉज इन द सेम मैटर वॉट इट इज रिटर्न हेयर एलेवेंथ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल अमेंडमेंट एट नाइनटीन सिक्सटी वन इज चेंज द प्रोसीजर फॉर द इलेक्शन ऑफ वाइस प्रेसिडेंट स्टूडेंट्स ओके सो दिस इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट नाउ द वाइस प्रेसिडेंट इज इलेक्टेड बाई मेंबर ऑफ एन इलेक्ट्रल कॉलेज कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ इलेक्टेड मेंबर ऑफ बोथ हाउसेज सी स्टूडेंट्स so not only elected will participate both will participate elected as well as nominated so this is incorrect the election of vice president cannot be challenged on ground that the electoral college was in so we already discuss if electoral college is incomplete it's okay so statement 1 2 and 4 are correct and 3 is incorrect so if you go through the option what we find basically statement c means option c statement 1 3 4 are correct and 3 is false so this is going to be right answer for the same i hope you all getting it this is very simple and very easy so original constitution provided that vice president would be elected by two house of parliament assembled at a joint sitting uh, by 11th amendment it is modified okay and inserted a new clause under article 71 clause 4 to clarify the election of president or vice president cannot be challenged on the ground electoral college was incomplete okay statement 3 is incorrect because vice president elected indirectly and electoral college consist of all member of parliament whether they are elected or nominated now this question was in uppsc which one of the following did not serve as vice president before assuming the office of president of india so which of the following is not previously uh, means not means he later uh, not became the president of india so not serve as vice president so r venkat raman okay so 1987 to sorry it is 1987 to 1992 okay नीलम संजीवन रेड्डी 1977, ओके टू 1982, एटी टू जाकिर हुसैन सर नाइनटीन सिक्सटी सेवन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी नाइन शंकर दयाल शर्मा सर बिकेम प्रेसिडेंट इन नाइनटीन नाइन्टी टू एंड ही वॉज द प्रेसिडेंट इन नाइनटीन नाइन्टी सेवन सो दिस इज द प्रेसिडेंशियल टेन ओवर ओके स्टूडेंट आर वेंकट रमन ही वॉज द वाइस प्रेसिडेंट फ्रॉम नाइनटीन एटी फोर टू एटी सेवन Neelam Sanjeevan Reddy there is some fact about the Neelam Sanjeevan Reddy he was the Lok Sabha speaker before chosen as president uh, he is the youngest but not youngest because Draupadi Murmu ma'am she is the youngest president and students uh, he was elected unopposedly so no opposition was there and neelam sanjeevan reddy was not a vice president he not serve as a vice president so option b is correct for this same okay have you now see the 14th question who among the following has held the office of vice president of india means who of the following function as vice president of india yes he is the first chief minister of andhra pradesh also very good ashila okay so justice mohammad hidayatullah he served as acting president and later he chosen as president of india oh sorry vice president of india fakruddin ali ahmed neelam sanjeevan reddy shankar dayal sharma so neelam sanjeevan reddy never worked as a vice president fakruddin ali ahmed never worked as a vice president students okay so sankar dayal sharma was the president of india as well as vice president mohammad 
हिदायतुल्ला ही फंक्शन एज द वाइस प्रेसिडेंट स्टूडेंट सो वट इज गोइंग टू बी द राइट एंसर फॉर द सेम सो ऑप्शन बी विल बी करेक्ट बिकॉज वॉट दिस क्वेश्चन आस्किंग कि हु ऑफ द फॉलोइंग होल्ड द ऑफिस और हेल्थ द ऑफिस फॉर द वाइस प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया ओके सो दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट ऑप्शन बी इज गोइंग टू बी करेक्ट सो स्टूडेंट्स वी ऑलरेडी शेयर अ माइंड मैप विद यू एंड दिस माइंड मैप इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो just take a screenshot just note down the data and you must go with the book okay this will be more uh, better option because the explanation is there just solve the question and build your concept as well as uh, prepare yourself for the examination mohammad hidayatullah and shankar dayal sharma held office of vice president okay okay and uh, justice mohammad itayatullah have held the position of chief justice of india later he became the uh, uh, vice president of india he also function as acting president of india okay so 1979 to 1984 he function as the vice president and then uh, sankar dayal sharma was also a vice president of india since uh, 1987 to 1992 okay so fakruddin uh, means there is a knowledge plus fakruddin ali ahmed was a indian lawyer and politician who served as a fifth president of india and he died during the office term second person nilam sanjeevan reddy was served as a sixth president of india from 1977 to 1982 okay now see the next questions 15th question if vice president of india has to discharge the duty of president of india in his absence due to some reason then what is our true for such duration okay so in this duration vice president hold office hold the post of chairman of council of state if vice president of india has to discharge the duties of president in case of any vacancy then which of the following is true in this duration vice president will function also as a, uh, a chairman of rajya sabha in this duration vice president will get the emolument of president in this duration vice president resign then chief justice of india will perform as a duty of function okay so now which of the following statement is correct students okay okay so just opt it of the right answer for the same i am i hope i am audible and visible to you okay so if you see students whenever a vice president functioning as acting president in that case students he will leave the post he will not function as council of state chairman so this statement one is incorrect okay in this duration he will get the salary and all facility as president in this duration students president if president will resign then the chief justice of india will perform the function as president as it was done in 1969 so 2 and 3 is correct but what you see students uh one is incorrect so what they are asking what are true for such duration so basically option c is correct 2 and 3 is correct for the Same. Okay. Now see the explanation portion also. So statement two and three are correct. As vice president acts as president, when a vacancy occurs in the office of president due to resignation, removal, death, or otherwise, he acts as a president only for maximum period for six months. We already discussed multiple time uh, within which a new president has to elected. Further, when sitting president unable to discharge his function due to absence, illness, or other Yeah, okay. Says the vice president discharge his function until the president resume his office. Okay, everyone. Statement one is incorrect because when he will function as acting president in that case he need to he means he is going to leave the post. Okay, till he will function as president of India. Now, uh, this question was was in Bihar PSC re exam and electoral college for the sixteenth vice presidential election of India. for 2022 is consist of how many members now 
as election was conducted recently exam was conducted recently so you have to choose the right one so it is 9 uh, 798 788 554 or 250 none of the above more than above so students electoral college of vice president consist of lok sabha and rajya sabha member only and both elected and nominated will vote so 543 seats in lok sabha and uh, 245 seats in rajya sabha when you add it what you find 7 88 is right answer for the same okay so this data is also important and yes uh, we included in this format 233 elected member of Rajya Sabha 12 nominated member from Rajya Sabha and 240 543 member from the Lok Sabha they participated in the president election now a resolution for the removal of vice president of India can be proposed in so student this is the special power of Rajya Sabha as is a chairman of Rajya Sabha so whenever a president is going to remove from the office it can only done by the Rajya Sabha so the bill will start from the Rajya Sabha only the proposal will start from the Rajya Sabha only okay everyone so this is all about the today's session but yes there's a homework you have to inform me uh, is any vice president he removed from his office or not so this is all about this chapter and this session is basically based on this book that is prelims possible especially published by Arihan and students you must go with the book the, for the history for the geography for the polity for the economics because it contain 100% error free explanation knowledge plus with the typical question PYQ bullet for revision and free package chapter test also so thank you so much for joining and listening students will meet soon take care have a great day if you feel any doubt and difficulties in your uh,